Hi, this is Debbie Sementelli from Lettering Art Studio and my new Debbie Sementelli Type Foundry. And I'd like to do a little how-to for you to show you how to use my new Cantoni DIY wedding font made specifically for DIY wedding brides um, in Word because I know a lot of brides are working in Word and moms of brides. So the first thing you do is open up a new document and I'd like to change the orientation. So I'm going to go up to layout, go to orientation and click landscape and you see how that changes and makes it more horizontal. So the next thing I'm going to do is go back to home and choose a text box. And let me zoom up so you can see this a little bit larger. There we go. So I'm going to create the text box, make it nice and big because I want to fit this on an 8.5 by 11 and print it from my printer. So now I'm going to go to the font list and I'm going to choose my Cantoni DIY wedding font. It doesn't say the words down on the list. It just has the actual images there. But you'll see, oops, there it goes. You'll see that it changes and it says Cantoni DIY wedding up in the list here. Now I want this to be really large and the font really only goes up to 72, the numbers but I can change that by highlighting that and then typing in and I'm going to try 500. So now I'm going to refer to my Cantoni DIY wedding map. That's um, available in my gallery for download at Debbie Simontelli Type Foundry on myfonts.com and what it tells you is which image corresponds to which keyboard key. So I'm going to try to create a photo booth sign and that is the lower P. So there we go. I type that in and it's already done. No need to type it all out. It kind of works like clip art. So now I'm going to go up because I want this a little bit bigger and I'm going to change this to 600 and I press 600 and then I come back and there we go and I can see that it's falling off the edge a little bit. I'm going to make my text box bigger. Now I'm going to bring it up a little bit. There we go. Okay. And now I'm clicking, I'm right clicking on the mouse, going to wrap text and none. And I've just found in general that that makes it easier to move the text box. So this text box I'm trying to now kind of center it and for practical purposes let's say that's good. Now what if I could print it like this in black and on an 8.5 by 11 piece of cardstock on my home printer I'd be good to go. But if you wanted to create a color you can click on let me get to see where that is. Oops. Okay, here we go. You can click on the fill here and let's say I want it to be in red. I can change the color by clicking on fill. Let's say I want to have the look that's very popular which is the chalkboard look. So I can go to basically white it's hard to see it now, but then I can come to the background and click on black and now that's what I get. And I can change that if I want to change the size of that background. Move this a little bit more. Okay. So now I've created a photo booth sign that has that chalkboard effect and just go back to home for a second and I want to, if I want to fill out more and just leave like a white border then I can click on center center text so now it's brought it in the center and so everything around it is going to be just a white border when it's printed 
that's what it will look like. You always want to leave at least a quarter inch border because every printer um, can only print within that range. So it should be a quarter inch border. So you can't bring this all the way out like that. It won't print on your regular printer. But that gives you a wonderful sign that you can use for your wedding in the popular chalkboard look and you can create any other kind of um, uh, look that you want. So check out my Cantoni DIY wedding font at myfonts.com currently. It will be selling at other distributors as well, but it will start out at my fonts at my type foundry, Debbie Sementelli type foundry. Thanks so much. I'll be creating more videos to show you more things you can do with the font in the future. In the meantime, enjoy. Bye.